What is up, crew? Welcome to another Tuesday with Spencer here in FTM Transtastic. This week, we're talking about coming out of stealth or coming out as passing while passing. I personally have not experienced this yet. I am only six months on T, so everyone who knows me um, knows I'm trans, and that's simply because they think I am female and I have to explain that I'm transgender and non-binary, and then they go on with pronouns and everything. So that is currently what my situation is, but you know, um, I've been passing a lot more, so that will change soon, I suspect. But coming out as <clears throat> trans when you've been stealth. Um, I've talked to a bunch of people in my support group because they have more insight, and they basically came up with four things, four rules, I guess. So just to pass on a little bit of knowledge, I guess the first thing that they said was to make sure you're safe. Um, which goes for all things. You want to make sure that whoever you are coming out to or whatever um, place you are coming out to, you want to make sure that you are safe, that um, you won't be harmed in any way, that nothing negative will happen to you, whether that's physically, emotionally, spiritually, financially. You want to make sure that all your, all your bases are covered because this is um, a life-changing thing and it can go very bad very quickly. So please take care of yourself. The second piece of advice that they said was to <clears throat> make sure that you are ready to come out. Um, I guess more so do it for your for yourself, not for the wrong reasons. Such as um, don't come out because your best friend came out and they're complaining of how awesome of a time it is. Don't come out because you're the only trans person that you know at whatever environment you're at at the moment and you feel that um, it is your duty to be visible and for people to know trans people and to be the, the token trans kid at wherever um, environment you're describing. Don't, don't come out for that reason. Um, come out because you want to. And it's sometimes hard to see what you want and what you know you think other people may want. But really, really have a conversation with yourself and really make sure it's just something you want to do. The third bit of advice would be um, to, when you come out, I would make sure that it's appropriate. Um, one of the things that, come on, go, go, go. One of the things that <clears throat> I think is overlooked is that um, people think that if they're out, they have to be out in every aspect of their life, in every circle that they are exist in, all their environments, when I don't actually think that has to necessarily be true. For example, if you are stealth at work and you would like to come out at work, make sure that's an appropriate time to come out. Because <clears throat> is, it, is it really something that they need to know? Like, don't, I'm not saying that you have to hide yourself or anything like that, but do you need really need to walk into your workspace and be like, hi, my name is Spencer, I'm transgender? Make sure it's the appropriate time to come out and with appropriate people, because I know some people may think that's inappropriate to do at work, um, but it's your life, YOLO. Last bit of advice that I would give would simply be to be proud of your decision. If you want to be out, be out. And go forth and forge on and work through and own it, you know? Be proud of your decision, however you decide to make it, however it turns out in the end. Know that you made it for yourself, know that you made it for your mental state, know that you made it for whatever reason that you deemed was important enough to do, and do it, run with it. Because at the end of the day, I, I believe that people do things to make themselves more comfortable, and if it makes you comfortable, then who am I to stop you? Rock on. So that's what I have to say. I hope everyone's having a great week and gearing up for an even better weekend. It is Tuesday at Spencer. Until next time. Right, Jaxie? Would you judge me? Did you judge me, buddy? No.